Hey, the arousal is actually a wearable heart rate variability monitor. We're interested in a real-time measure of autonomic arousal. And the autonomic nervous system is broken into two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is associated with fight or flight. It's like the gas pedal on your car that it tends to get us ready to either flee a situation or, or stand and fight by elevating our heart rate, for example. The parasympathetic nervous system is like our brake on our car. It slows our body functions down in general, like reducing our heart rate. So the arousal meter really measures the parasympathetic nervous system and it's the inverse of arousal. So as parasympathetic activity goes up, a person is actually relaxing and as it goes down, they're becoming more and more aroused. If you could measure this real time, you can have it fed back to a computer and the, the computer could be monitoring in the background continuously. The standard measures of workload are typically questionnaire based. So I either have to interrupt the task to ask you how hard you're working or stop completely and have you think about what you were doing, project either what's going to happen in the future or review what's happening in the past. Well, for a day-to-day -day situation where you want to be able to continue doing a task and not interrupt it, there's not really a good measure. And the idea with heart rate variability is that you could be tracking it continuously really without the person knowing it. If the computer can detect through an algorithm that the person is working harder than normal or outside of their average work range, then you could have additional programs set up that would modify what, what tasks were available for the person to work on or perhaps take some of the tasks you're working on and assign them to another computer operator. For example, in an air traffic control room where you had numerous operators controlling numerous aircraft, when a system detected that you were overworked, it might be able to not give you any more planes to monitor and, and send those planes to other people to track. 